Hello everyone. I hope you're well today. Um, we are continuing with mammals and today we'll start with just a little bit of review and then we'll be exploring some different animals and then you'll get a chance to explore two mammals of your choice. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I want to do is go over some of our animal vocabulary words. Um, pull them out. So I'm going to show you a word I want you to try to say it out loud or at least sound it out. Uh, I'll give you one or two seconds and then I'll say it and you can see if you got it right. Okay, let's begin. Vertebrates. Warm-blooded. Nurse. Omnivore. Carnivore. Herbivore. Okay. Let's do it one more time really fast now. Vertebrates. Warm blooded. Nurse. Omnivore. Carnivore. Herbivore. All right, hopefully you got most of those. If you didn't, uh, keep reviewing them in your animal vocabulary book. And you can put, or I will put these to the side for now. The next thing I wanted to do is show you some pictures of animals. And I want you to tell me if you think it's a mammal or not. And you can show me by giving a thumbs up if you think it's a mammal and a thumbs down if you don't think it's a mammal. All right, so let's begin. Ooh, okay. First up is a giraffe. Do you think it's a mammal? See, I should see a bunch of thumbs ups. If you have a thumbs up, you're right. What about a penguin? Mammal or not a mammal? What if I tell you penguins lay eggs? Uh, they are not a mammal, they're a bird. Here's a dog, a Dalmatian dog. I should see a thumbs up, it's a mammal. What about a rooster? He does not have, or he doesn't have fur or hair. What does he have? Yeah, he has feathers. That's a bird. Here's an elephant. Now, it's hard to see the hair on an elephant, especially in this picture, but it is there. So, I should see thumbs ups. Elephant's a mammal. What about a zebra? Another thumbs up, that's a mammal. Here we have a toad. Yeah, definitely not a mammal. That's an amphibian, which we'll be learning about um, in a different week. Here's a bat. Hopefully you remember from yesterday, the bats are mammals. They're the only mammals that can fly. Okay, a fly, yeah, not a mammal. I should see thumbs down. Here's a fish, I think maybe a trout. Yeah, maybe a rainbow trout, but definitely not a mammal. Easy one. A rabbit, thumbs up. 
Do you remember what this one is called? It's an orca whale, also known as the killer whale. And it is a mammal, right? Remember, all whales are mammals. So are dolphins, seals, sea lions. Uh, even though they, they live in the water, they are mammals. And we talked about how the orca is a carnivore yesterday. A snake, mammal or not a mammal? The big thumbs down, right? The snake is covered in scales. Hmm, what about this animal, this person? Yeah, that is, that's a mammal. People are mammals. Here we have a parrot. It's a bird. Last one is a shark. Hmm. Now we know whales are mammals. Sharks are not. Sharks are fish. And we will be talking about that on another week as well. So oh, hopefully you know your mammals now pretty well. So now that we've reviewed a little bit, I am going to share some cool mammal facts and mammal videos that I found. Uh, I want to start just with some little facts. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Just a moment. Here we go. All right. So let's start with tigers. So it says tigers have about 100 stripes. No two tigers have the same stripe pattern. A tiger's roar is so loud it can be heard more than a mile. Oh, the polar bears, uh, this is an interesting one. Polar bears appear white because of their thick hair, but below their furry coat, their skin is actually black. Here we have dolphins. The dolphin cannot breathe through its mouth. It has a blowhole on top of its head for breathing. And that's something that makes it a mammal, right? Fish can breathe under the water. Uh, here we have the blue whale, which we talked about yesterday. So it says the largest animal in the world is the blue whale. It grows over 100 feet long. A blue whale's tongue is as heavy as an elephant and its heart is about the size of a small automobile, so a small car. It's very big. Okay, let's look at fact card number eight. Uh, that's a platypus. And it says mammals usually don't lay eggs. Their babies are born alive. There are only two species of egg-laying mammals on the earth today. They are the platypus and the spiny anteater. Wow, so those would be great ones for you to choose uh, for your assignment today. I would love to know more about the platypus. And you'll notice as we talk about all these animal groups, there's always some animals that don't qu quite fit perfectly in the group. Uh, so the platypus and the spiny anteater are some of those. I've even heard of uh, one mammal being cold-blooded forget which one it is. I'll have to look it up. Okay, elephants. They have large ears but poor hearing. They also have poor eyesight compared to most other mammals. Elephants are very intelligent. They have the largest brain of any land animal. We have chimpanzees. They're also extremely intelligent. Scientists have taught them to solve puzzles and use simple tools. 
they even have taught chimps to talk with people through sign language. Let's do a couple more. Here's cats. They can make over 100 vocal sounds. Dogs on average can make only 10 different sounds. Oh, this one's cool. The giraffe sleeps less than any other mammal. It needs less than two hours of sleep per day. Yeah, that's it from there. I also wanted to show you some other animals I thought were really cool. So this one I had never heard of before. It is called the pygmy jerboa, and it's the world's smallest rodent. It looks part mouse and part kangaroo. Um, and it does not live here, so you won't ever see one around your home. Uh, they are found in Pakistan and Afghanistan. So let me show you a little video. It's an odd looking animal. The feet and the eyes look so big compared to its body. Very odd looking. So again, that's the pygmy gerboa. You can always look up more about that one too. All right. Finally, I wanted to show you the flying squirrel. I'm sure you've heard of this one before, um, but it, it's still pretty cool. Now, it's called a flying squirrel. Uh, it's more like a gliding squirrel. They're not actually flying. Remember, the bat is the only mammal that can fly. So I will show you. When you've got fur instead of feathers, going airborne takes some guts. But the flying squirrel never hesitates to leave it in the void. Luckily, he comes equipped with a built-in parachute. stretches from wrist to ankle, turning the squirrel into a living, breathing paper airplane. With each leap, the squirrel takes aim and spreads its body into a square. The cartilage rod attached to their wrists helps them steer during flight. Squirrels glide through the forest like ghosts. Their tails acting as a stabilizer and a brake. All right. Okay. So now it's your turn. Uh, I want you to find two videos to watch on mammals. And on the lesson plan, I put a brain pop link uh, along with the passcode to get in. In that link, if you press it, you'll find videos for cats, dogs, horses, pandas, elephants, bats, dolphins, and primates. Now remember, you will pick two animals or two mammals that you want to learn more about. Uh, if there's another mammal you would like to learn about that's not on that brain pop link, that's okay. Uh, you can ask a parent to help you search other mammals on Google or YouTube. You could even learn more about one of the animals I just showed you. Uh, also, if you have access to books on mammals, you can use those instead of videos. That's okay. Uh, this is not a formal research project. We're just taking today to try to learn something new about two different mammals. Um, 
after watching the two videos or reading about two different mammals, you are going to write a few sentences about each mammal uh, under the mammal exploration assignment that's on Class Dojo, so under the portfolio tab. So remember, you're going to do this for both mammals you learn about. And uh, we'll keep it simple today. All you have to say is that I watched a video on, and then tell me which animal you chose. So you could write, I watched a video on uh, bats, or I watched a video on elephants. And then you'll tell me two things you learned. So I learned, and here's a blank. And then I also learned with a blank. So fill in those blanks with two different things that you learned. Remember, nice, complete sentences. Uh, the more detail, the better. Make sure you start with a capital letter and end in periods. Uh, this will be your typing practice today, so you don't have to do typingclub.com or typing.com since you'll be typing this assignment in. Um, also, please try to submit the assignment today or tomorrow at the very latest. Uh, we have another writing assignment that will have to be uploaded on Friday, and I don't want you to be overwhelmed. Uh, so that's all for today's video. I look forward to reading about the mammals that you chose to learn more about, and I will see you here tomorrow. Have a good afternoon, everyone. Oh, and I will leave this up. You can pause it if you think you'll need it. Otherwise, uh, it's in the lesson plan too. All right, so see you tomorrow.